channel so today is tuesday april 11 2023 and today we're gonna do an unboxing and initial impression of the caltech sub 2000 this is fresh i just picked this up a few hours ago from my ffl so it comes in a cardboard box Let's show you stickers and this is a I think sticker for the window and one magazine block 22 original block magazine not aftermarket uh, um, block magazine a block 22 magazine there you go and what I notice is the manual this is a good manual with uh, illustrated and colored uh, instructions about your gun. I like it. Anyway, that's the box. This is the gun. Okay, so I have a couple of PCCs. Why did I buy this gun? Okay, um, uh, just a backstory. I I saw the first gen Caltech sub 2000 like 12 or 13 years ago uh, in my first gun show here in Houston and the price was around 300 plus credits we'll talk that way okay so we don't get uh, uh, censored anyway so 300 plus but uh, it was my first time seeing a folding rifle so I really wanted uh, I wanted to buy it but to me it looks ugly good thing I didn't buy it because later on based on reviews people are uh, complaining about the, the gen 1 so I, I ended up buying a Ruger LCP 380 at that time it's also 300 plus credits okay and then later on after a few months or one year I said oh I'm gonna buy the the sub 2000 but then the price went up uh, it went up to 400 plus credits and then the gen 2 came the gen 2 is around 500 500 plus some as high as 600 it, it depends on where you are but recently what's new so this is not new what's new about this gun is the price the pricing on this gun they are basically Celtic is basically giving this away why because of the Smith and Wesson FPC the folding uh, pistol caliber carbine from Smith & Wesson which is uh, priced around 500 plus credits right now 2023 and uh, I think it's a marketing uh, um, strategy of Caltech to flood the market with their sub 2000s so you can find them in a very cheap price plus the rebate that they are offering until I, I think it's until June 2023 so right now they are offering a hundred credit for the sub 2000 so just check the models okay um, so I got uh, I saw I saw a uh, at a good price I think uh, yeah yeah uh, I saw the sub 2040 cal in blue I like that it is a different color than black uh, running around uh, 389 389 so it less 100 it's just 289 it's it's cheaper than most of my pistols so why not why not get one I my SD 40 BE before uh, I got it for $299 now it's selling for $399 so this is cheaper so when I decided to buy that blue uh, Caltech Sub 2000 for $389 it's out of stock and then I was monitoring online and then I came across this deal it popped in my email uh, they're selling this for $369 $369 plus uh, shipping of $20 twenty dollars so if you less the the rebate uh, it's gonna be 269 
I think it's the cheapest sub 2000 ever since I have seen a sub 2000 so there you go uh, that's why I bought this even though I have some PCCs let me just show you this is my first PCC all gun all guns were safety checked prior to filming this is a PSA AR9 and I think th yeah this is my favorite PCC Ruger PC carbon you can separate the two two halves but I, the reason this is my favorite because this is side charging when I go into a PCC competi competition my right hand is always on the grip close to the trigger and my side picture remains the same while I charge the gun so I like it. I like it and it runs good okay and I think this is the cheapest of my uh, PCCs although I got this used is high point 9mm carbine with ATI stock uh, my wife loves to shoot this gun it shoots straight even though just with just iron sights okay so like I said the reason I bought this AJ get the phone the reason I got this because it is cheap and uh, they say that this is a prepper rifle because a backpack rifle you can uh, stash it somewhere you can put it in your bag backpack or whatever and it shoots a 40 cal I'm still a fan of 40 cal today's 2023 people are staying away from 40 cal because of uh, the FBI findings with the 9 millimeter versus the the 40 uh, I still uh, am a fan of the 40 cal for me um it has a uh, more powerful punch than a 9 but lesser recoil than a 45 that, that's just me okay and what else uh this model is a glock 17 and glock 22 model but since it's a 40 cal uh it's for the glock 22 so my ffl just a quick story my ffl a while ago i think this is the first time he encountered he encountered the uh, sub 2000 and he thought uh, this is a 22 LR because he said uh, he saw the 22 uh, 1722 he, so I said no it, it takes the Glock 22 not a 20 this is not a 22 cal the the caliber is in here in the barrel this is a Glock 40 cal magazine not gonna show it to YouTube okay here you go drop free and I was surprised that it can take the Korean drum which my I think my uh, Ruger PC carbine won't take and my uh, AR9 won't take it just won't slide in but with this here you go um what else uh oh so with this uh pcc i would like to keep it simple so it's easy to stash uh no major modifications but i bought some items here because the grip part still slick even though there are um uh, square designs that are elevated it's still I think it's still slick so either I stipple it with my soldering uh, iron or put a rubber grip hole grip and then what else what does it like with this? oh muzzle brake so this is threaded so make sure when you buy your sub 2000 it is threaded why because it's expensive to get a barrel uh, threaded so i think it's around 70 to 100 when you send your barrel to get threaded so this is a bonus so this is threaded it is not one half by 28 this is a 40 cal so i think it's nine by uh, i don't know, correct me nine by 18 by 24 
Uh, just check it out. Uh, it has the same uh, muzzle brake for a uh, 10 millimeter. So I bought uh, I bought the muzzle brake for that. Uh, this is a quick detach sling mount. I put it at the end, the back. Uh, rubber butt pad for the stock rear stock and. Uh, uh, rail covers because like I said I want to keep it minimal the uh, foregrip the front area of the sub 2000 is so narrow I have big hands uh, my gloves are around the XL so you can do a C, C clamp C grip so it's better if your rails has cover up and down but it's up to you because uh, some people put so many stuff on the rails okay what else um, I was surprised that the front side is metal but the rear is plastic and that is the biggest complaint on this gun it's hard to aim using the irons especially the, the rear side you need to really jam your cheek onto the buffer tube to get a good side picture or and you need to tilt your head it is very straight that's the that's also one of the the cons of uh, the sub 2000 it is very straight the profile is very straight so it's hard to get a good side picture you need you really need, you really need to tilt your head sideways okay uh, what else here's rails uh, top and bottom here the plastic use or the polymer use, I think it's sturdy enough for its purpose. I'll show you the magwell. You cannot press it. If you have a Glock 17, it is so soft on this part of the Glock 17. You can definitely um, press it. What else? Um, the rear stock is adjustable and it's easy to adjust just push the pin it has three settings mine is all the way to the back i am 59 the charging handle is reciprocating meaning it moves back and forth every time you shoot it so be careful it doesn't hit your face or your hand or any part of your arm um, I think this is a hole for your sling. I think I'm gonna move, do the mod wherein I'm gonna put a uh, rail here on this side so I can put a quick detach. Where's my quick detach? Red dot uh, system. Yes, it's ready. Just in case I, w I will go with a red dot not on the irons because it's really hard to aim using the irons. What else? Uh, there's a bunch of mods online, but like I said, as much as possible, I want to keep this stock ready to go in this configuration. Uh, what else? Um, safety. Uh, it's, uh, what do you call this? Push button safety, red is dead. Cross bolt safety, sorry, cross bolt safety. And what else? There's a bunch of upgrades for this gun, but it's up to you if you're willing to pay for those upgrades. Like looking at the the rear sight, it, it will cost around seventy to ninety dollars just for the rear sight, and I got the gun for uh, two sixty nine. 269 credits okay uh, what else uh, I think the the rear part the, the stock is genius where it holds the the front end of the barrel and it's easy to adjust it house the or protect the front side and I just hope that <clears throat> some will sell a uh, <clears throat> an add-on to the to the sites wherein you can just put it on top lock it or uh, or uh, use permanent
permanent Loctite or glue so it makes it taller Also the front side. I think it's an easy Snap on or click on easy upgrade so it, it will be easy to shoot but other than that like I said for the price why not why not I think the rebate is up to June 2023 okay. available in two calibers 9 and 40 I went with the 40 because I, this is my first 40 cal PCC and it is cheaper than the 9 you'll probably find a better deal with the 40 than the 9 ammo wise although 40 is more expensive this is not the gun that I will not shoot regularly in the range I have other PCCs that I can do uh, I can use for that it's gonna be my stash my prepper gun backpack gun camp camping gun and the, the, for the just in case scenario when I'm outside the house keep it simple so I think that's it guys uh, this is my initial uh, review and unboxing of the Caltech Sub 2000 in 40 cal that takes Glock 17 and Glock 22 mags very cheap if you don't buy it during this period with a rebate you'll be sorry so that's it guys if you like this video please click like and subscribe use my Amazon link consider my consider supporting me on patreon and uh, comment down below thanks for watching bye